Welcome to the wonderful world of chemistry. Today, with the help of the hydrogen and chlorine set by Mel Chemistry, we will synthesize chlorine and examine its properties. Perform this experiment on a plastic tray to contain any possible spills. Don't forget to put on protective gloves and goggles before doing the experiment. To open a bottle containing a reagent, push the cap down and turn it. Pierce the bottle nozzle with an unbent paper clip. For the chlorine experiment, you'll need thymol blue solution, sodium hydrogen sulfate, potassium iodide solution, manganese dioxide, and sodium chloride. You will also need filter paper, a three milliliter syringe without a needle, a measuring spoon, a plastic funnel, a pencil, and three candles. From the starter kit, take the stove, the flame diffuser, and a beaker. In addition, you will need a glass of water and a lighter or matches. Insert the plastic funnel into the bottle of manganese dioxide and pour one bottle of sodium chloride into it. Close the bottle with a cap and shake it vigorously for one minute. Add two big spoonfuls of this mixture to the beaker. Next, add two big spoonfuls of sodium hydrogen sulfate. Then, using the syringe, measure three milliliters of water and add it to the beaker. Mix the contents thoroughly. Now, take a sheet of filter paper and draw a pencil line down the middle. Label one side KL for potassium iodide and the other T for thymol blue. Place a drop of potassium iodide on the half labeled KL and a drop of thymol blue on the one labeled T. Next, prepare the solid fuel stove. Set three candles into the stove, light them, and cover the stove with the flame diffuser. Then put the beaker on top and cover it with the filter paper. In due course, the mixture will start boiling and the spots on the filter paper will change color. Sodium iodide will turn brown and thymol blue will turn purple. Heating promotes a chemical reaction within the solution, namely, Manganese dioxide reacts with sodium chloride to produce chlorine. In turn, chlorine dissolves in the drop of thymol blue. This reaction produces an acid, which makes the drop of thymol blue change its color from blue to purple. On the second half of the filter paper, chlorine reacts with potassium iodide. This reaction produces potassium chloride and molecular iodine. It is the iodine which gives the drop its brown color. However, that's not the end of the transformation in this experiment. You will notice that this stain slowly loses its color. This is because chlorine is a very active element. It reacts with the iodide to yield colorless products. As a result, the chlorine reacts with the iodine and the iodine stain slowly loses its color. After finishing the experiment, dilute the reaction mixture with an excess of water and then pour it down the sink. Learn more about this experiment on our Mel Science website.